In our time promoting weather compensation, we've come across five popular myths. Myth one is the fact that weather compensation is not suitable for older buildings. And the real facts behind this are that weather compensation allows the boiler to run at lower temperatures, but it doesn't mean that its maximum temperature is reduced. The older buildings will lose more heat than more modern properties, and therefore the boiler still has to be able to cope with that, but it allows the boiler to run at reduced temperatures when it's not one of those very few coldest days in the UK. The second myth is that you can't fit weather compensation if there's no north-facing wall. North-facing wall is obviously the easiest as it's completely shaded. If you have a northeast or northwest facing wall, then you will try to uh, put it in a shaded area. If you have an east or a west or a south facing wall, then perhaps you would be looking at putting it into the recess of a window or into a window reveal uh, or even covering it to provide artificial shade. Myth three is that you need new radiators. Most boilers are boiler replacements and they're going onto older systems where we know that radiators tend to be oversized anyway. And if the previous boiler was able to heat the house with those radiators, then the new boiler with weather compensation will also be able to heat the house with those radiators. Myth four is that the maximum temperature is reduced. Actually, there's no change to the boiler's maximum temperature. It still needs to heat the house on the coldest days. Myth five is that it's difficult to set up. Actually, it's a simple sensor on the outside wall which is attached with one or two screws. The wire clips into the boiler control board, into two ports on the controller board, and it's a low voltage wire, so there's no electrician required either. The boiler will automatically sense the sensor and it automatically then adjusts its mode to weather compensation mode.